Hey everyone, this is Greg with Signature Manufacturing. Today I'm introducing our BCR Mod 1. BCR stands for Bad Company Rifle. Uh, this rifle is $950 as you see it with all the features right here. So uh, you can get it at SMI Arms and if you're a dealer, feel free to contact us. We have dealer pricing as well on these. Um, so right now I'll go over the features of the gun. Um, I like to start at the front of the gun, so that's where we'll go. First and foremost, the part I'm most proud of is our barrel. Uh, every one of the BCRs out of box comes with a 16 inch M4 profile barrel. It's got a carbine length gas system. It's stainless 416R. Uh, it's a 1.7 twist barrel. It's match grade, it has a target crown, shoots extremely tight groups. If you follow us on Facebook or Instagram, uh, you know, I posted up a target the other day, uh, you know, 100 yards, 69 grain load. Uh, I'd say it was probably a nickel size group with it. And I was, I was shooting rested, but that was open sights and, uh, you know, just simple trigger control. Um, these barrels are awesome. That's all I can say about them. They, they, they shoot tight. Um, they take any kind of ammo you can throw at it. I've yet to see one uh, give us any sort of hiccup whatsoever. Um, on the front of that, we have a standard birdcage flash hider. Following up for the for the next impressive feature on this gun, we're offering a 13-inch key mod rail system. Kind of hold it up here. It weighs 8.6 ounces mounted on the gun. Um, it's extremely light, balances the, the rifle perfectly. Um, moving towards the rear here, last thing with the front, um, we've got Magpul Inbus 2 sights included with the rifle. So we move towards the back. I have a manganese phosphate. Um, chrome line bolt carrier group. I'll pull that out in just a minute. Show you guys what all that's that's doing. Um, we've got a 7075 T6 billet lower receiver. Um, as you can see, it has a flared magazine well for easy reloads. And if you like to shoot using the front of the mag well, there's finger grooves on there too. So it's it's kind of a nifty little feature that we do. Um, next up, our trigger. It's a standard GI trigger. Um, we stone and hone all of our triggers right out of the box, so you won't have any grit in your take up. It's a very short take up, very short reset, so it's easy to get back on the gun. Uh, next up, you've got your standard MOE uh, grip, and then you've got your MOE six position collapsible stock on the back here. Breaking down the gun, as you can see, it's a standard LPK, standard buffer. I apologize in advance, this gun's a little dirty. We've been shooting it, testing it, all that good stuff. This is your bolt carrier group. I'm not going to really break it down past this because everyone else, you know, knows what's inside a BCG. Um, as you can see inside the gas key or chrome line, also inside the uh, bolt recess is also chrome line on the carrier. Um, you've got a um, rubber insert behind the extractor spring to ensure uh, reliable extraction. And the entire thing is uh, coated in manganese phosphate, you know, mil spec coating. Uh, our carriers and keys are 8620 steel and our bolts are 9310 steel, so this will not fail you after thousands of rounds. Going back to the, the rifle as a whole, our idea with this gun was simply a duty grade firearm with, uh, you know, internally, there's not really any frills to it. Uh, you know, we've got a 1.7 twist barrel, so you're good for shooting defensive loads. You know, we've got the, the tried and true manganese phosphate bolt carrier group, and we've got a standard GI style trigger um, you know, that way, you know, you're less likely to have any failures or, you know, there, there's nothing, there's nothing overly fancy about the internals of this gun. It will not fail you. Um, the external features are what I believe sell it. Um, the gun as a whole is extremely well balanced with this ultralight key mod rail on it. Um, we opted with the, uh, the carbine length gas system. That way, you know, there's no pickiness on, on ammo variety. Sometimes when you go with mid length, you know, gas systems or you know, even on the pistols with the pistol length gas system, you can run into reliability issues. Not so with the carbine length gas system, so that's what we're trying to hit right there. A um, couple other features, we've got our standard USGI trigger guard, um, which we can upgrade to a winter trigger guard for an additional cost. We also have our standard GI charging handle as well. Um, you can upgrade that as well for an additional cost to our extended BETR latch. But yeah, figured I'd give you guys a, a little once over of the gun, and that's it. Thanks for watching.